a lot of you guys have been getting in touch with me on Telegram, which is really, really cool. Um, but I'm seeing a very, very common problem here that I want to quickly dispel. So basically, at the start of this whole process, in TFM Chapter 4, it talks about the reasons why you like PMOing. A lot of you guys are jumping the gun very, very quickly and are basically saying, oh, I don't like PMO. I don't like PMO because of this reason, of that reason, of whatever. But it's happening too quick. What's happening, right, is instead of addressing the reasons why you like PMO first and being honest and being shameless about it, what you're doing is you're trying to short circuit it and you're basically saying, oh, I don't like PMO. But you're just saying, oh, I don't like it because of the consequences or because of the shame that it gives me. And I thought this it would be really good to address this now. <laughs> so here's the deal, right? Let's say I like... What do I like? Here we go. Hot chocolate organic. I bought this, right? Let's say I'm drinking loads of this hot chocolate organic drink, right? I'm drinking it. I'm having a good time. In order for me to change my preference for it, it's no good me drinking it, liking the taste of it, and then trying to kind of short circuit the whole process, trying to be too quick about it and saying, oh, I don't like it because it uh, makes my breath smell bad. I don't like it because it gives me sugar. Now I don't like it. Why am I still doing it? I don't like it. Here's the deal. You're not actually being honest with yourself to begin with and debunking the reasons why you want it on the front end. Do you see what I'm saying? So you might so a, a correct way of going about it might be like, okay, I like hot chocolate. It tastes good. Um I, I fucking like it. It's warm, it's nice. Okay? You're just being totally shameless about it, and I completely empathize why a lot of you are feeling as though it's hard with PMO because with PMO as opposed to say drinking alcohol, there's a lot more shame associated with it on a societal level, right? N not necessarily on a personal level. You might feel no shame about it. But with some of you dudes, you're thinking, fuck, man, like, it's shameless as hell. So I can't admit that I like it because there's no pleasure in it. Oh, wait, there's no pleasure in it. It's, it's like that. That's no bueno. What you want to do is you want to be like, okay, I like, let's say, go back to the chocolate, right? I like the taste of chocolate. It feels good. I like it when I'm reading my book. It's sick. Now that you've admitted it and now that you're like honest about it and you're totally owning it, now you're able to rethink. Because now it's like, fuck, do I really need this sweet taste? Like, do I actually give a shit? Why do I even want it? I wanted it because I thought I can like, you know, drink hot chocolate while I'm reading my book. But do I really need it for that reason? Could I could I instead drink hot water and drink and read my book? I'd still get the heat. I'd still get the heat. Do I really need that sweet taste? Could I feel better without that sweet taste and then knowing that my body isn't spiking its insulin unnecessarily and, you know, and I don't have that smelly breath because of the, you know, I don't, I don't stain my teeth. Fuck, it could be better. It could be better. Do you see what I'm saying? It's like that. You're not trying to put the cart before the horse. You're not trying to jump two hurdles at once. You're not trying to short circuit it. You're not making a panicked decision. And the people who are really suffering the consequences, i.e. guys with PIED, they're the ones a lot of the time who are trying to fucking short circuit it. Don't short circuit it. Be honest with yourself. Be real with yourself to begin with. Why do you like it? I like it because it feels good. I like it because it feels like it's educating me. I feel like this is the only way I'm going to see these sorts of images. And then now you can sort of pause. Now you've admitted it, you can kind of slow down, realise you're not addicted, realise you're choosing it every single time. And then you'll be like, fuck, if I'm not addicted and I'm choosing it every single time, and I've admitted I've, I've liking it, I'm liking it for these reasons. I'm free to just reconsider, like, do I even give a shit about the physical buzz of MO? Like, how does that fit into my life? Is it even important? Do I even give a fuck? There's nothing stopping me from changing it. What if I just don't, what if I just don't, like, I don't even care. Fuck it, I don't even give a shit. I want to do, I want to do other stuff. It was important to me when I was 14. When I was 14, porn was important because it was, you know, it was kind of, like, edgy... Everyone was do talking about it, doing it out of the school. Um, it was like adult. Never seen a vagina before. Shock horror. But now I'm growing up. I don't really care. I've seen it all. Like I want to just crack over my life. It's like that. Do you see the difference? The first one is you're being shook by the consequences. And then you're denying yourself. You're lying to yourself. And you're saying, I don't like porn. It doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel good. You just, it's B you're BSing yourself. Instead, what you want to do is admit that you like it and then debunk and then reevaluate. Like you like just how you like make any other decision. Like, like with the hot chocolate, it's just it's the same 
it's the same type of reevaluation of is it what I want? Do you understand? For me right now, this is what I want. Yeah, it's, it's spiking my insulin a little bit, but I'm happy to pay that price because it tastes good. But then in the future, I'll probably be like, eh, maybe I'm bored of it. Fuck it, I don't even need it. Fuck it, it's gone. It can really become like that. And it's surprise. It's actually surprising how quickly you can just ditch something you've been doing for so long. Um, so that's a little note that I wanted to make. Because a lot of you guys are getting in touch about pleasure. How do I debunk the pleasure? How do I not see it as pleasurable? You don't want to... <laughs> You're not fighting addiction here. You're just reevaluating and rethinking. You're not like making this panic decision of den uh, denying yourself that it's pleasurable. You have to admit that it's pleasurable because you do find it, but it's true. And then you're like, fuck, do I even give a fuck? And then once you get to the point where you're like, you literally don't give a shit and you've moved, you're genuinely like moved on and you're just living your life and you don't even need porn anymore. Now it's like, well, I don't even give a fuck about it. Even if I did PM, I wouldn't fucking enjoy it. And then you PMO and it's like, well, don't even give a shit. It's not the same. So I hope that makes sense. I appreciate this video might be a little bit muddled. So please leave a comment and tell me if it's muddled or not. Because even though I've solved this problem, and I'm solving the problem on, for guys with Telegram, I'm not an expert coach. I'm not. I'm just a young dude. I'm trying to make this fucking work. And I want to make this work for you as well. So if you comment then I can get back to you and we I can try my fucking best to help you see what I'm talking about. You know, my communication skills need work. So just to recap, instead of making a panic decision based on costs and denying yourself and saying, I don't find it pleasurable, what you want to do is admit the truth, the absolute truth, even the most retarded reason in your head, like, it educates me. It educates me. Now you've admitted it all, admitted it all and you don't believe you're addicted, you're, you're genuinely free to actually just rethink whether it's what you want now. Do you want, does that make sense? Let me, please let me know in the comment. Let me know, because I'll get back to you and we can fucking, can really help you to get on your way here. So yeah, and if you haven't read The Freedom Model, what, are you living under a fucking rock? <laughs> I'm joking. But seriously, read it. It's link in, in the below. It's free. It's, you know, this is how you do it. Forget everything that Hamza's saying. Forget anything that NoFap YouTubers are saying. Forget all that shit. It's all fucking bollocks. It's literally bullshit. All the neuroscientists forget what they're saying. It's not true. Um, your mind rules the brain. Your brain doesn't rule your mind. Your brain isn't pulling you like a puppet on a string. Because look, you have free will. Look, I can do anything. Look, free will. I can do anything I want. Look. I don't... Free will, right? Um, we're motivated by what we see, by what we reason to be important by what we reason to be happier, by our minds, not by our biology. We're at the biology at the whim of the mind. You don't have to find porn sexy if you see there's literally no value in it. When you're watching a cinema movie and there's a sexy screen, sexy movie screen, sexy film like scene, you're not suddenly like, oh, I need to jerk off. Because you just don't see the point. Like, oh, this fucking movie, I don't give a fuck. You could be like that around porn too. But if you're denying yourself right at the beginning, you're leaving the actual reasons as to why you want it untouched. And that is not helping. And I've realized this is actually what's going on because a lot of you guys are messaging me about it. And I thought it might be worth making a video. OK, so please let me know if any of this, you know, please let me know if this is clear or if it's not clear. Let me know and I can help clarify in the comments. All right, that's it.